off to uh, Manta. Uh, I think he's ahead of me, she's not well, so she's in the hospital. So, I think I'll find out what's going on with the little thing. Uh, she's having a lot of abdomen pain, so hopefully, hopefully she's okay. If she's not well, she can't die. That's, that's one thing. I mean, regardless, I would die. But I don't want I, I really like to do this with her. Really like to. I mean, it's, we spoke about it for quite a long time. When we first met, you know, I really wanted to uh, have a have a dive buddy that, well, first of all, that I knew. And secondly, uh, you know, someone I really like. And she's, and she's that person. So I hope little cherub is in the hospital this time. Getting some blood taken out. And hopefully this hospital are going to get it all sorted out. You're okay, baby. She's very brave. Okay, here she goes, off to get an ultrasound. And it's not a baby, by the way. <laughs> Ciao, baby. If anything happens to you, I'll take good care of Marty. <laughs> We've been here all day, the poor thing, and she's been in a lot of pain, so uh, she's got some sort of um, infection. The truth is, we're being discharged. Well, Iggy's being discharged. Um, we're not staying the night in the hospital. Anyway, but she's got anyways. antibiotics, and uh, she's forget to die. Careful. Next 24, 48 hours, we can get you now, Jenny, and we're off to the Galapagos. Woo! Okay, we're at the campsite and uh, well, the hostel. Fantastic hostel, really enjoyed it. Uh, could have quite happily stayed there for a week if we weren't getting on this boat. Uh, so we're heading to Manta, go to the mall, get a few things, and then push up to Quito. Anyway, Ingi's feeling better. So that's a good thing. She on the men. It's 25th today. So we've got three days before we leave to the Galapagos. So we'll get there probably tomorrow to, to Quito. We'll drive up to a place called Santa Domingo today, I think, which is about, I don't know, maybe 100 kilometers out of, out of Quito. Just break it up, do a little bit of a gradual sort of acclimatization. It's been a very oh, busy day today. We've been... Mas, I don't know. Do you want rice or do you want noodles? No, no, noodles. No. Por favor. Fidelos. Fidelos and noodles. I feel like we're about to, we're ordering prison food. It looks like we're being in jail. I mean, look at this. Like, darling, your Spanish is getting really good. No way. Okay, totally Manta. Just had a shave, obviously. Uh, getting ready for obviously having to wear a mask. With a beard, I always find uh, the mask never seals properly. Uh, we had quite a successful day, actually. You know, we've done a bit of shopping. Finally bought some new clothes. Probably about two and a half years overdue. So, uh, a couple of new outfits. I've been obviously hanging out with Ingi, she always looks, very, always looks very fashionable. So, you know, you know, to get a bit like the sort of lady in the tramp or beauty in the beast. So, I uh, put a couple of, couple of nice things just to wear in the Galapagos. Damn it, I've just got 80 kilometers the wrong way, I've just lost Ingi, so I'm gonna go back on myself. Oh man. Oh well, I'm, I'm so off the gringo trail, it's crazy. I mean, I don't know where I am, no idea. But anyway, hopefully, I catch up in an hour and a half or so. I was up. Woo! It's that campsite. Amazing. Well, uh, Today we went shopping and bless her English, so kind. She bought me a new pillow and bed sheets. I mean, no, that's kindness because she's obviously been seeing how I've been sleeping for the past well, two months. Look at that. Wow. Nothing like a woman's touch. One of the great things about getting in somewhere at night is waking up in the morning and seeing where you're at. So uh, after my very long trip to try and find it. Let's have a look what it looks like. Oh, man. This place is great. Oh, man. That's cool. Food can still eat free, which is really 
really wonderful. All say Ecuadorians, and I'm so so touched on this, are incredibly kind people. And there's a real sense of community here. I've seen a lot of Ecuadorians helping each other. I got to Quito and uh, <laughs> that last campsite was not good for my car so I've, I've left Inge up there and just gone down the hill and gone to where I wanted to be because this is just yeah 
We don't all have four-wheel drives and Land Cruisers, so uh, I guess one has to operate within one's, one's capabilities. I don't need to be blowing another fucking engine. Anyway, ironically, I'm uh, at a campsite designed by a Dutch guy, which is fantastic. This is actually the cabana that, um, with the showers and stuff are. So this one I'm gonna leave my car for the next three weeks, three and a half weeks. Um, tomorrow I'll get everything packed, get to the airport, hopefully see Ingi either before that or at the airport or on the boat, I don't fucking know. And uh, get diving. It's all about the diving now for me, so I can't wait. Onwards up, woo! That sounds like Frankie. Okay, this is it. All the clothes, three weeks of the Galapagos, dry bag. I mean, the great thing is, is um, you don't really need much. I mean, I think it's about 23, 24 degrees during the day. Uh, so it's shorts and, you know, commando, that's about it really. Uh, and on the boat, diving, you know, so once again, shorts and stuff. Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, we're going to the airport. Ingi's on her way here to meet up with me before we go, which is great. And um, I can't wait, I'm so pumped.